what's the biggest challenge right now to content marketing? It's cultural change. And it's not even close. That's the biggest issue. It's doing something different. Historically, the structure of a marketing organization within the company was incredibly siloed to take advantage of the media landscape and the publishing landscape that existed with the new landscape a lot of those roles really don't have the same relevance they did anymore because they're engineered for the way the world used to look a big part of the challenge for organizations is how do you move towards content marketing without it being seen as a fundamental threat to the roles and the functions of the organization as it existed and to be honest it's very still very the market is still changing significantly, so it's not like there are many organizations that aren't feeling the pain yet. So right now in most organizations, content is everyone's job and no one's job. People and companies want to start a, you know, a content marketing effort, you know, whether it's a corporate blog or it's a social strategy or it's email or it's, you know, whatever the channel may be. And inevitably what happens is, is that it becomes item number 487 on Bob's to-do list. And he can't go get blogs because it's not part of Jim's you know, job description to, to write blogs. So he's beg borrowing and stealing for people within the company to write content. So what does he do? He actually goes out and gets it from a freelancer who writes not very differentiated content. They publish that. It doesn't do very well, it doesn't differentiate them because it's just freelancer commoditized content. Therefore, convincing the company that it doesn't have a very interesting story to tell. Therefore, making the case that they don't content marketing doesn't work. The biggest challenge of doing real-time content is fear. It's fear because we've always run things by the legal department. We've always asked the CMO's permission before we push the button on a blog post. We've always checked to make sure it's okay to publish the email newsletter. But the environment today needs to be such that we can do those things when the time is right, not when the time is convenient. There are a lot of marketers and PR professionals and communications professionals that are scared of content marketing because honestly, they just don't get it. They've never had to get it. They've been successful for the last 20, 30 years doing the same thing they've always done really focused on campaigns. And by the way, there's nothing wrong. Adver there's still a place for advertising. There's still a place for traditional PR. But we get that. We understand that game. Here's a whole new muscle here that we've got to figure out how do we get in shape called content marketing. And they've never done it before. So it's much easier, and I meet startups these days who have 10 employees, one of whom is a company storyteller. That's, if you're intentionally building an organization, engineered for today's media environment, that's perhaps a structure that, that suits. But that's not the sort of structure that companies that now have two, three, four thousand employees had, or 50,000, 60,000 employees had. The real magic bullet to that, if there is one, is making it real in the organization, making content production part of people's jobs, making the creation of differentiated experiences part of people's, you know, the thing that they get reviewed on, the thing that they get bonused on, the thing that they get paid on. And just even that small change can be a huge challenge for many organizations. Content marketing is more about getting up every day and saying, wow, what are my, what's my audience struggling with today? And how do I solve that problem? And you know what? That problem might not have anything to do with my product and service at this time. It's really tough. You, you take a content marketing plan and put it in front of a sales team, first thing they'll say is, we're not talking about a product enough. You gotta talk more about the product, and that's what happens in a lot of our large enterprises is somebody has a really great idea about how to put a content marketing strategy into effect, and it goes in front of the executive team and the sales team, and by the time that content gets back, it looks like a brochure.